Hello, in this tutorial I just want to show you how to draw a square to the screen. <coughs> uh, by the way, we will use this all of this program as a shell. I will not, you know, type it again and again and again because, you know, that first type is I will run out the time every time. So I hope you uh, how I hope that everything makes sense that it is here. If not, just go to the API documentation and get all of the function name like SDL init, SDL set video mode, and so on. So you can, yeah, uh, maybe understand them. Okay, I make an entire tutorial or regulating FPS. Although I think this is simple, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's simple to you as well. I try to explain as well as I can. I cannot explain any better. Okay, so uh, first of all, actually we will draw to the screen. Uh, we don't use another SDL surface to draw and then blit. We just draw to the screen. Okay, to make it possible to uh, draw a square, we need an SDL rect structure. Uh, SDL rect okay as the rect uh, structure has four parameters this which is important for us it has uh, x coordinate that I, uh, I hope that makes sense this is at the x coordinate so in the in the horizontal axis the coordinates for example make it 10 then the y coordinate and make it 10 as well it has a width uh, the width is uh, represent a W and uh, I don't know make it 20 and it has a height so uh, yeah that's it you have a rect structure so rectangle okay <coughs> the next thing you may want to do is to create a color uh, in FDL we can use the uh, uh, an U in 32 variables similarly than we uh, used to make the start uh, to make the actual time so we can use this uh, same uh, variable so U in 32 uh, color for example and we can make this color equal to so this will contain the color uh, 8 bit so one uh, byte every color so we have we can go uh, 255 uh, 0 through 255 in every color. Uh, probably you can notice that it has the uh, eight difference. It's my math don't uh, if my oh if my math remains. So uh, yeah, uh, that's the alpha. I will not really talk about that. Uh, yeah, so. You can use the SDL uh, nap RGB. Uh, the first parameter of that is the format. Okay, um, probably you always uh, press the screen dot format. So screen, actually not dot because you know uh, it's a pointer. So we use the arrow member selection operator. So screen format. You you won't always uh, pass it actually the uh, three more parameter it has is the number uh, is the color number uh, I like to I like to use the uh, hexadecimal numbers in here so for example make it I uh, probably uh, I think that you should uh, familiar with the color so how the pixels work and so on so I guess you know what RGB are because you know that's some basic computer skills and you know everybody should know that so the first thing is uh, uh, the R the color R the second is the green and then the third is the blue color so make it uh, make it make it a uh, white rectangle so we use the 0xff 0x mean it will be a hexadecimal number ff mean it's 255 so we uh, give the maximum uh, by the way usually the colors are 
represented by hexadecimal numbers so that's why it is good to use hexadecimal numbers so in C++ every hexadecimal number like memory addresses are similarly is a hexadecimal number you uh, saw that in one of my earlier tutorial or something like that okay so uh, the white color probably you know uh, all pixel at maximum so both red green and blue is in maximum color so let me just do it okay that's it so it will put this rgb very very uh, value to this color we don't have to binary uh, you know binary shift and then uh, uh, put it with uh, with an or or something you you know we don't have to do that we just use this simple function and it will convert it to the format of the screen uh, yeah that's it we have a color okay that's it now in here inside this while loop because we want to make this uh, square visible every time this while loop runs so while the game runs to do that uh, we use a function called sdl sdl fill rect okay sdl fill rect will fill uh, space uh, so rectangle draw a rectangle if it is simple okay the first the uh, parameter of the as a field rect is where do we want to draw this rect rectangle we want to draw it to the screen uh, directly the next parameter is the rectangle actually the just an address of the rectangle so we use the address of uh, operator and rect and the last parameter is what color does it do it want we just define this uh, as a color uh, so we will Th so this will be white so now we can actually run the program and as you can see we have a 20 by 20 square in coordinate 10 10 uh, both x and y is 10 and width and the height is 20 so as you can see it was as simple as that to create a square okay actually we can use a square to clear the screen to do that we use the screen as well the next parameter w uh, will be the uh, screen has a member value uh, member member a member rectangle if you like it so uh, this is called clip rect so this will simply give the rectangle of the of the SDS surface every SDS surface has a clip rect this will contain the same as in here so it will contain 0 0 uh, 640 and 8, 8 uh, 480 uh, yeah that's it so we don't have to manually do that and just press this here and you are okay oh one thing this is not a pointer this is the rectangle so we have to uh, use the address of operator and the last will uh, remain the color so now we can we should see that our screen is completely white as you can see so now we can make a black uh, square if we want so just change it zero 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 and that the uh, uh, black and just uh, right under this uh, rectangle which we have filled so under the screen as if we do this a different order so that would mean we first draw a black rectangle and then we redraw uh, a white rectangle and override that the red rectangle I hope that this makes sense so we can do it STL fill rect and we can use screen and then the address of rect we just created up there and the color is the last actually it uh, it doesn't work as well we need a color too 
the color 2 will be the white uh, yeah I don't think that never mind we will do that in a moment so FFF to give the white okay and the background will be white so color 2 and then the rectangle will be uh, black Okay, and as you can see, it is white and the rectangle is red. By the way, sometimes it's a better idea to put this clear color, so this clear, uh, outside of this uh, while loop, because we don't want to feel it every time the loop runs, because, you know, it remains. Uh, we just want to draw this squ uh, square every time the loop runs. Actually, in this case, it is not necessary to draw in here, but most of the case, for example, when moving a square, it will be. And whenever uh, we move the square, we fill the rect first with uh, white, and then fill the new position to black. It will give the a moving effect, although the moving eff effect is not part of this tutorial, so I just skip it for now. So, we can... Uh, leave it right he here as we want so yeah not really more runtime just a little bit okay thank you for watching and have a great day